when we had last left the Spacefarer. They were at Gagarin and Gagarin's landing on Gagarin, and it was there that they encountered Reliant Medical's offices, one of three corporate interests trying to get their greedy fingers into the proverbial pie that was Gagarin, Gagarin Landing. And there they encountered a smarmy dude who was some sort of underling beneath Helena Struckland, who was also kind of a butthole, and wanted them to seek out a courier who had gone missing with a very important package of some mysterious, uh, I don't know, whatever it was. It was mysterious. And they found that the courier was dead, murdered seemingly inside of a building nearby along their route and the package emptied its contents stolen and also one of the lower the lower ranking employee Bonifont or whatever their name was was gone as well seemingly having stolen the missing package contents now traveling off to the nearby planet of Hawley and to a nearby little factory place there they found loads of ecliptic mercenaries and Bonifant tied up. It turned out that there was someone else named Monal- Monalado, Monaldo, or something like that, who actually turned out to have been the killer, the courier killer, and the package thief. Now it was time to get them and get the package. <laughs> this is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. There we are. Let's do it. Let's do a quick save as well, just in case. Alright. Supposedly, not too far off, right? Looks like it. Here we are. Oh, yeah, right over here. Oh! What's the meaning you were in here the whole time? I am not to be... <sighs> Bonifant. Bonifant. So, Reliant sends a longer merc of their own, then. Shut it! Hand over the data, or I'll promise you'll regret it. Well, look at that fire. Look, this will go better if you talk to him. Last bad decision you're ever making. Now, I think he had the data on him. <laughs> <laughs> this will go better if I talk to him. Yeah, well, about that. I mean, he killed the courier. Come on. <laughs> Should we hear? Nah, let's hear him out. Let's hear. Let's, let's fucking hear him out, right? The courier didn't need to die, right? He had it coming, right? I mean, fuck Reliant Medical wow. and fuck this guy too. Look at that fire, junior executive. No more. The answer is no, Mr. Maximov. This data is worth a lot of money to my potential buyers. Of course, it doesn't have to be just me that benefits. Now. If Reliant sent you, then you've had the, uh, pleasure of meeting Ms. Strickland? Mmm, lovely woman, don't you think? Quit stalling and hand over the data. Doesn't really matter what I think, I'm just here to do a job. Not really, she seems kind of mean. <laughs> Let's say that. Oh, she more than seems. And she's even cheaper than she is cruel. I, however, understand the importance of... Appropriate compensation. Yeah, but didn't you kill I'm a fucking guy for this? Handsomely, right now, to turn around, get back in your ship, and inform Helena that our Bonifant here betrayed her. That he killed the courier. Stole Reliance. This guy killed data. a courier and he's but like, yeah, but she's mean. During the <laughs> Come on! The I'll even handle the killing part myself. Hey, he's gonna kill again! What do you say? He can't get enough! For this killing Quiet. stuff. It's not gonna He's work. like, yeah, but Helena's not, mean. Right? <laughs> We're leaving here with that data, Maldonado. You've got a deal. Bonifant's all yours. Now hand over the money. Bonifant, is Strickland really as cheap as he's claiming? <laughs> oh my god, is she so cheap? Is she mean too? <laughs> Let's say Wait, it. You're not actually considering this, are you? Yes, maybe Helena's on the more frugal side of things. But did you not hear him? He's talking about killing me. All we want is that data. <laughs> like, he, he also doesn't really give a shit about the dead courier, right? It's so easy to, to make a call here if, if you're trying to, like, do the right thing, right? This is very, very straightforward. He's, he's very mustache twirling, this Maldonado, right? But uh, 
hey, there's a quest choice here for you to be able to also be kind of evil, right? <laughs> All right, yeah, fuck off. We're not leaving here, or we are leaving here with that data. Sit tight, Bonafont. Hmm, well, I can't say I didn't try. See, look, we get but, um, bonus I've points with plan, Barrett. So I guess I'll just have to get rid of you myself. We killed everybody Take coming out. in here. What level could you possibly be? Oh, you are level 18. Let's get Reliance property back. Unfortunately, I'm 35. The last bad decision you're ever making. Now, I think he had the data on him. Want to take a look? <laughs> could you imagine if he didn't have the data? Okay. He is well, right? Private Reliant Medical. Wow, the mag shot is highly valuable. I'm taking it. Data's intact. All right, let's see what all this fucking data is about, huh? Reliant Medical, formulas and formulations for the 24th century. We live in an exciting age. Medical technology is now reaching heights never before thought possible. And Reliant Medical plans to remain the premier medical sciences provider for this century and those for this century and those to come. This slate continues on with pages and pages of proprietary research and planning done by Reliant Medical staff, with plans reaching out for years. Okay. What? Thank God. I'll take my own ship back to Gagarin. I'm sure Helena will be. Well, she'll be happy to see you at least. Okay. Do you have anything you else to say? For making the right choice. Can I kill him too? That was. I mean, Barrett. Did. Okay, sorry. I can't. I'm sorry, Barrett. He's very angry. Look, he didn't even die either. Fuck it. This guy's fucking invincible. All right, let's do a quick load. All right. I can't even kill him, and Barrett's mad at me. Shit. That's a lose lose. Okay, well, what all else do we have here? Just this bullshit in here? Do I really want to hack into that? I mean, maybe this one. It is advanced. Fuck it. Eliminate the unused. Why not? Let's play it a little fast and loose, huh? There we go at that. And boom. Excellent. And swap that around there. Radioactive calibrated solstice. Meh. I'll take the creds, super cool magnet. I mean, that is cool. It's got double the mag capacity. But it's just calibrated. Who gives a rat's ass? Let's see, let's pop all this open. Mmm, butter! <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch of lockers in here I never opened. Either that or they respawned. Okay. I'll see you back on Gagarin. Fucking ShamWow's there. Yep, I'll see you back on Gagarin as well. Let's do a quick save. And actually head over to Sidonia, if we can, real quick. And sell off some of our illicit goods, I think. Right? Is there any other food here that I can munch on real quick? I don't think so. I think maybe we've munched all that can be munched upon. Yeah. No quick and easy munchies. Alright. Sure. Yeah, we've seen- we've seen this interior before. Let's see here. Let's head on over to... Let's see. Well, I mean, I guess we could go to Jemison if we wanted to. Should we do that? Because they they do have the trade authority there as well, but it's kind of a task to get to it. Yeah, fuck that. Let's go. Let's go all the way to the fucking soul system. There we are. Okay. There we are, Sidonia. Well, no, that's Deimos. Staryard. Okay, and then... I have contraband, yeah, sure. Let's jump, cross our fingers. 
please, 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 please. Eighty-nine percent. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. What are the chances? What are the chances? Mm, give me that. Fuck yes. Let's get it fucking in there. There we go. Good. And we're starting to get my little screenshots I usually take, huh? Alright. By the by, uh, someone wrote in a while back. <laughs> uh, and it was already too late because I had recorded ahead a bit. But holy shit, when we... When we got arrested on board the Constant, we accrued so much XP debt. <laughs> holy fuck. That's why we have not leveled despite doing a whole lot lately. What a fucking fresh hell. Good deal of time in the UC before joining the Lodge. It's been a while here. Oh, that was so long ago. Oh, you were in the UC. Did, is that where you met Sarah? How did you meet Sarah? Sidonia may be rough around the edges, but it is utterly monumental for humanity. Yeah. Welcome to the Sidonia Trade Authority. Hey. Hey, you looking for anything in particular? Are oh, you? That's what we do here. Okay, got a lot of money. Hopefully you got enough. There we go, get rid of that. And, whoop, not quite enough. Okay. You got anything I could buy? Oh, whoops. Sounds like a plan. There we are, let's see. Have you got any med pack? I'll buy just plain med pack. Hmm. Let's see. No, I don't think you do, do you? Yeah, it would be right there, huh? Well, shit. Okay. Hmm. Anything else we could get? You got digipics? Yeah, I'll buy those. Not many of them, though. Any of these that we need? Nope. How about weapons and stuff? No, you don't sell anything like that. Alright, well, we could buy up some ammo. Particle fuses. Always kind of useful. Get half of those. Good. And then, let's sell off. And we've got all this old earth shit, too, that we can get rid of if we want to. Got some fire extinguishers, I guess, still. There we are. Get rid of that Xeno Warfare tech. And let's get rid of some of this antique junk that we had gotten from the Constant. Yeah, I'll sell one out of loss. There we are. I don't mind. Come back anytime. You know what? Let's also head over here and sell off the others. Very difficult to prove. The latest investigation All right. Hey. Ah, yeah, you, remember me? You take a look. Yeah. Let's see. Do you have any med packs, maybe? You fucking don't. Man, ain't nobody got med packs anymore. What the fuck? Okay. Well, let's get rid of these old baseballs. Oh, I can't get rid of this. <laughs> I can't bring myself to do it. All right, these other fucking helmets, they're kind of cool, but uh, ultimately useless to me. Let's dump them. This mag shot, high value. I'll sell it for a bit of a loss. I don't mind. See you later, friendo. Okay. Let's do a quick save, and... Let's see, let's return to Halea. Wait, hang on, weren't we meant to chat about a Mitch? I just don't have the time. Huh. Okay. Well, let's do this. Set course for Helena here. Land real quick. There we are. Lovely. You know, I'm looking back, maybe the first giveaway that this guy was up to no good is that his spacesuit looked crimson fleet as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> I feel I like you. You, you can't have a spacesuit or a spaceship that's red, right? If you just decide to have any of your shit just red, people are gonna 
people are just gonna fucking start shooting you, right? <laughs> They're gonna think that you're a fucking pirate. <laughs> What's new? Okay. Well, what have you got for me? Yes, right. Here, check this out. What is it? Oh, a ham and cheese sandwich. Okay. How's it look? Does it look like the usual sandwich? Oh no, it looks totally different. It's like a- yeah, it's toasted. A ham and cheese sandwich on toasted bread. Sliced diagonally. Yep. Pretty good. You know what? I'm- I'm actually just gonna eat it right now. There we go. Do I have any other food I can just eat? I've got cola. Hmm. Some heel gel. Oh yeah, these. The latkes. Still need to get rid of that liver pate. Meatloaf. Yep. Smoked salmon filet. Sure. Carrying around some fucking ship parts. Okay. Well, we definitely need to get rid of that. Okay, let's see here. Ship. Cargo hold. Inventory. And then ship parts. There we go. Holy shit, I can't believe we were just lugging around 10 units of ship parts this whole fucking time. I wonder when we even picked it up. Alright, let's do a quick save. Head over here. Help you with something. Have a nice day. Okay, I'm guessing this Bonifant dude is gonna be up here, huh? Oh, no. Hey, you're looking a little bit better, Helena. Not hunched over in pain. You're back. Without Mr. Maximoff. Is... is he alright? You didn't have to... deal with him. Did you? Oh, I did. The thief was a man named Maldonado. Not your employee. Bonifant's fine, and he didn't steal your data. A Maldonado did. Do you really think I'd execute one of your employees? <laughs> I mean, I did just kill, like, an entire <laughs> factory full of ecliptic mercenaries who were inexplicably involved in some way, right? Maldonado, I guess, hired them somehow. Dude, dude did have a lot of money, to be fair. Just not on his person. All right, did you really think I'd kill him? I mean, I presume not. But you mercenary types... You play by different rules than the rest of us. So, is Bonifant all right or not? Well, look at you. You actually give a shit, though. Bonifant's fine, and he didn't steal your data. Someone named Maldonado did. Maldonado? I know that name. He's a renowned data broker. Oh, really? Black market. I'll have to let corporate know about his involvement. And that you managed to stop him. This was good work. Excellent work. Speaking of which, would you be so kind as to hand over the data? Here you go. Maldonado made me an offer. I turned him down, but I think you need to know you need to up what you're paying me. You know of this Maldonado, then. By reputation only, I assure you. We're not the only firm that's had research or client data simply wander off, then crop up in the hands of a criminal element. Huh. And that name cropped up in more than a few of them. So it does seem that you've spared us from becoming his next victim. Okay, yeah, fuck off. I'm going to absolutely extort you for money. It's not exactly like you're handing out treatments to people for free in need. That seems reasonable. Here, yeah, for a job well done. Thank you. You have reliance and my gratitude. Ooh, 76,000. Or not 76,000, 7,600 even. Alright, good. You have anything else to say? Oh, are you about to ring in a call? Are you... what are you... Helena, what are you... What are you doing? I thought Bonifant was gonna be here too. Maybe his ass got killed anyway. What? <laughs> Didn't he say he was gonna meet me here? Dude fucking pieced out. Okay. Hello? 
Elena? Corporate will be very interested to hear that Maldonado was involved in this little caper. I expect some new data protections to come down after this. Okay. God. They really want her to say data as much as possible. <laughs> oh, hey! Bonifon, you made it! Good God. Do they still have that shit where NPCs actually take time to travel? How's that even work in this, right? How does that work? Because, you know, famously in Elder Scrolls and Fallout games past, very frequently they would actually have them or at least simulate them sort of walking through the world and taking time and, like, you could find them along the route. How would that work here? You know? Sure. You wouldn't be able to find, like, him flying around in a spaceship, huh? Right? I mean, you could, right? You could fly here. You could. But you wouldn't see him, would you? No. No, surely not. All right. Ah, there you are. Look, it merits saying again. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, the landscape of medical science isn't going to remake itself. <laughs> God. <laughs> I hate him so much. <laughs> I just wanted to check in. You doing okay? Well, I made it out alive thanks to you. So I'd say things are going pretty well. But sorry, I should really get back to it. Okay, yeah, sure. I better get back to it. I, d I don't know what it is about the... Like, whoever gave him direction really did give him the correct direction to be just like the most slightly annoying Please person possible. <laughs> He's got that kind of like news delivery YouTuber voice. Do you know what I'm talking about? Some people who deliver some type of... It doesn't matter what type of news. You, you eventually come across someone who, who sounds like this when, where they're, they're just kind of... they. It's almost like the YouTube version of reading news stories if you're like on broadcast television or whatever, right? You know how like news anchors on television, local news stations and stuff have that sort of disaffected cadence to their speech patterns where they you, do you know what I'm talking about where they they're meant to sound almost I don't know neutral to everything you know in a way and it it always rubs me the wrong way well this it used to be a benefit of people on platforms such as YouTube that it would feel more you know more sincere <laughs> you know there would be a a degree of of genuineness of sincerity but uh you know since money has really gotten involved in a major way now uh so too are there people who who just have taken on this this candor right and it's a unique one to the platform as well or or at least to the station the station of being like uh you know an internet version of that formerly you know broadcast sort of job Right? I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but you, you know what I'm talking about? Every so often you encounter it. And I'm sure, sure they're nice people, but there's something about that affectation that just gets to me, right? Same goes for, like, the broadcast version as well. It smells like the Centauri Mills plant is making a new test batch of something. Oh. Is this Centauri Mills right here? Oh, it's Clint's Collectibles. Clint! Oh my gosh. Tools, tools. Bedding? Produce. Cookware. Glassware. Okay. Lots of tools. This is glassware? These look like board games. Alright. Yeah, look at all these nice sheets. Towels, too. Fun lamp. A cool duck. Pants. Bunch of cookware here. Yeah, it looks pretty... Pretty shitty. <laughs> Clint's got kind of a borderline hoarding situation going on. He's got some nasty-ass old rugs. Fuck, you know Clint ain't ever gonna clean this shit. Produce looks alright. Oh yeah, look at all that. Oh, Clint, where do you get all the- Wow, my gosh, look at all the milk and orange juice. Holy shit, I don't think I've ever seen so much before. 
Shit. All right, Clint, what's going on? Tell me all about it. Welcome to Clint's. Whatever you need, I'm sure I've got it lying around somewhere. Except mech parts. Don't trade those anymore, so don't waste your time asking. Yeah, good thing you don't because it's illegal, Clint. Not that I would know anything about that. Nice to meet you, Clint. I'm just going to look around if you don't mind. Sure, let me see what you've got. Is there something wrong with selling mech parts? Well, for one, it's illegal in UC space. Making mech platforms used to be Gagarin's bread and butter. So, since they were banned in the armistice, I get one to two folks a month asking what kind of relics I might have lying around. But I'm not about to risk a contraband fine, at my age. So that's why I just lay it out up front. Funnily enough, not Bethesda Game Studios' first game where trading in mech parts is illegal. <laughs> nice to meet you, Clint. I'm just going to look around if you don't mind. I want to hear what he has to say. If you need anything, just follow the sound of falling inventory. You'll find me eventually. Oh my god, okay. What can you tell me about this place, Gagarin, Gagarin? Gagarin? It was a military town until the end of the colony war. Mechs were our specialty. Everyone always blabbers about Mars making the highest performance machines. But if you needed a system that wouldn't let you down in a pinch, you piloted Whoa. a Gagarin. But that all dried up when the mechs were banned with the armistice. Now, we've got these new firms coming in. Arc Might, Centauri Mills, claim they're here to revitalize the city. Which is funny, since their employees refused to step foot in most of it. So the mech factory was like Gagarin's own? It wasn't owned by like a larger conglomeration? He said you, you got a Gagarin, right? What was Gagarin like back when they still made mechs here? Also, by the way, you know there's like a child who has the hair of an old man? Sort of, sort of looking at your milk. <laughs> what was Gagarin like back when they still made like. mechs here? I can give you a price. Plenty more competition for stores like mine, that's for sure. UC had a lot more money to throw around in those days. During the war, I couldn't keep the shelves stocked. At first, because of all the demand. But later, because the Freestar Collective flotillas were so damn good at picking off UC merchant craft. But the biggest difference now? The quiet. Not just because most of the forges and mines shut down. It was a testing. Firms used to drive their prototype mechs out into the canyons, way beyond the city. But you could still hear the guns all the way from here. Jesus. It was like, shoo, thunder. So when the thunder stopped, well... So did Gagarin, in a way. Man, I wonder if I could go out there. But Gagarin has a chance to become something new now. That seems pretty exciting to me. Sounds like you really miss those days. <laughs> Shit, I'd kill for that kind of firepower. I mean, it would be pretty cool to be able to pilot a fucking mech. Oh, I'm gonna say it. I wouldn't lament the loss too much. More than enough ways to still harm your fellow man, unfortunately. All right, you know what? That's a good thing to say. Right, fair enough, dude. But also, in my defense, to me, this is a video game. <laughs> All right, well, well, show me what you got for sale. Let me just bring that up. Okay, what all do you have? Oh, Marathon. Okay, yeah, I guess, well, no. <laughs> yeah, they don't own Marathon anymore, <laughs> right? The, they they traded hands before they came into contact with Bethesda, Microsoft, that is. Okay, titanium build, premium build materials make this weapon light as a feather. Oh, yeah, look at that. It only weighs 0.49. Hmm. And that's it. What a bunch of ass. Okay. <laughs> Spacesuits? Anything cool and unique here? Nah, not really. Packs? Nothing here. Helmets? Nah. Miscellaneous? Ooh, I'll take the digi-picks. Always worth it. Okay, resources. Got some adhesive. Should I buy some of that? Got some iron. Bunch of nickel. Huh. I don't know if I should buy all this. You know, I don't, I don't know. Okay, you know what? 
Let's just sell off some of our shit. What all do I have that I still need to get rid of? Hmm. Well, not anything there. These throwables, yeah. Okay, sell from Frontier. Refined Equinox. Do I really want to get rid of that? I quite like the Equinox, but this one seems quite bad, to be honest. Huh. Anything else here that I ought to... ditch and dump? Man, we got a lot of aid items. Oh, it's all like food and drink. Gotcha. Yeah, we should stash more food and drink on the ship, to be fair. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think most of the weaponry and stuff that we want to sell off is on Barrett, right? Sometimes I hide outside the door to Lizzie's bar. So many swear words. <laughs> you know, kid, if you want to hear some swear words, you can just say them. You just say them yourself. Just, just go hide in a corner and just start saying them. And <laughs> there's so many. <laughs> okay. Anything else around here? Nah. All right. Where is Lizzie's anyway? Oh look, there's another medical place. I'm assuming this is not Reliant. Oh. Oh, I heard of you. I'm Dr. Keala. Are you a new patient? If you're a UC citizen, I can look you up, get your benefits oh. processed once we've done a workup. Oh shit, I am a citizen. No, I just wanted to say hello. I could use some medical attention? Process my benefits, not sure I follow. What's up with that? Oh, well, the UC subsidizes the costs of all services for its citizens, healthcare and beyond. Oh, wow. Hard part is, you've got to earn your citizenship yeah. first. Doing some job for the UC for mm, X number of years. Yeah, no one is born being a citizen. I got mine serving as a doctor in an at-need area, as they lovingly refer to Gagarin. Other folks, they've done it through scientific service, diplomatic posts. Heck, you could even go over and talk to Zaneda about joining the Vanguard. They'll get you your citizenship in no time flat. Or so says Zaneda. Yeah. And we know that that seems like it's it's bullshit, right? <laughs> right? It, no time flat. Okay. Huh. Unfortunate, however, that there is no reactivity for us to say, yeah, I'm, I'm actually a first citizen, right? I could use some medical attention. Then by all means, tell me what I can do. Is it actually free? I, I need help, Doc. All right. Let's examine you. I am a little wounded. Not so bad, really. Oh, I do actually have to pay 400 credits. Okay. Well, what the fuck? Come on. <laughs> Come on! I thought I was supposed to get it for free! Shit. Alright. Fucking first citizen my ass. What the fuck? Do you like being a doctor, by the way? <laughs> How much do I have to pay to hear this? I like helping people. I grew up around here, so I already knew basically all of my patients from day one. My parents both worked the mines, and I saw how hard that can be on the body. Made me want to help folks around here. Right, right. Okay. Huh. Let's see. Well, I could use some medical supplies. Have you had episodes like this before? Oh, where I just stopped talking? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got this dialogue that I have in my head. <laughs> right. I trust you'll put this to good use. Yeah, let's see what you got. Do you have just regular med pack? You do. Oh, shit. Okay. Pick me up. Whoa, 50 carry capacity. Hey, yeah, isn't this what we invented? Yeah. Created from aqueous hematite, a trade authority licensed chem enhancing sustained muscular action. Such as lifting and carrying. Fucking A. Wow. It's our own version of Jet. Okay. Take care. Great. So this this whole situation here is beyond Reliant Medical then. Is that right? Or is this just another office for Reliant Medical? Okay. Fascinating to know that little, little bit about the UC and their 
ability to subsidize medical coverage and all of that for citizens. Very unfortunate, though, that there is no reactivity for the player character if they do go through the, the like, methods through the motions of getting citizenship, you know? It would be amazing if, like, oh, yeah, you're on a UC planet. Thus, if you go to get healed up at a doctor and run through that dialogue, you don't have to pay anything, right? It is a little bit extra work, right, to be sure. Like, we've got so many med packs at this point, it's so easy to just tap, like, the heal button or to just find a bed and rest, you know? So, even in saying that, why not just give it to me for free? You know, why not? Come on, come on, just do it. Pro probably just an oversight. All right, well, when next we come back, uh, we'll look around some more. There's Centauri Mills. Apparently, there's some sort of stench emanating from it. Uh, we could also find one of the other many buildings. Lizzie's is somewhere here. As well as that other third corporation. I forgot what hey, it was. It's the one that we're less familiar with. People seem to really like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Until next time, please take care of each other. Yeah.